Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing good and fine this evening. Whew, this late afternoon, I should say. We're going to jump right in and see what Spirit has for you this afternoon on these messages. What would they like to tell you? Spirit, what is it you would like the collective to know at this time? Please and thank you. <clears throat> What do we got? Ooh, that one flipped out. Ooh, well, that's a good one to flip out in the reverse. Maybe we got a ten of swords in the reverse. That could be a good thing. It could be upwards and onwards, recovery, regeneration, a healing. Let's just read it like that for now. Challenge by... <clears throat> We've got um, Page of Cups, a dreamer, listening to their heart, wanting to offer new love. But then we've got the lovers in reverse. And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay. So it can't get any worse from here is, is what this basically is. It's an, an it's an, an an inevitable end. Oh, hey, baby. <clears throat> and this this love, this person's love offer or whatever is um, challenged be by a fear of commitment, or whoopsie, or um, some sort of a misalignment of values. And there's disappointment with this Seven of Pentacles reversed. So there's disappointment. And there has been limited um, success or reward for whatever it is they've been doing. They want to heal. They're resisting an inevitable end. Okay. In the subconscious... We've got three of swords reversed. Huh. A recovery. So, yeah, there's like a learning a lesson. There's been a lesson learned. Resisting an inevitable end. Can't get any worse. Wants to go upwards. Only upwards from here. Challenged because their new love didn't work out. There was a misalignment of values and they had limited success doing whatever they were doing. And there is a transition or a moving on, perhaps. Some sort of a release of pain. In the recent past, we've got the sun. So there could be a rebirth. With the intention of, intention, expectation, intention, expectation is challenge and competition. Somebody wants to bring forth challenge and competition into this new cycle. Or... This sun here was standing up for themselves. Their intention was to stand up for themselves, to maintain control of themselves, to persevere through whatever challenge came their way. In the near future, we've got strength reversed. Somebody doesn't have any strength. They're feeling weak. They have low energy. They're, they're in raw emotion. They're feeling insecure. 
the lens that's being looked through. Is we've got the Two of Swords. So uh, somebody's at a crossroads, there's a stagnation, some decisions have to be made, some difficult decisions, there's a stalemate, weighing your options. In the environment, we've got um, the Empress reversed. Wow, these keep coming out and flipping. Um, so somebody's um, having anxiety, um, they're feeling overwhelmed, they're not faithful to their relationships, they're codependent and selfish. Hopes and fears. Again, with the conflict, man. Competition, winning at all costs, being abusive, stealing, bullying, being sneaky. And the outcome? Three of Wands in the upright. So there's a moving forward. An expansion. Some form of preparation. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. A working parent. A supportive parent. Ooh. A supportive parent. Bring in endings. There, but she's bringing. Ooh, she's bringing death, and a five of cups and an eight of swords to this situation. Protectress. To this situation, she's she's like clearing the way so that this ten of cups can have its day. Wild man. Yeah, in a in a balanced and harmonious temperance energy. Yeah, judgment is being called here on behalf of the star and um and the reunion that is coming to the star. And this there's a moving on to calmer waters. You've got the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, Ace of Wands. And the chariot moving on and and yeah, and the whole history crumbles and it all comes down and it all comes down when the chariot leaves when the chariot leaves it all comes down is in the reverse somebody learned their lessons they weren't able to martyr somebody there's an inevitable end somebody doesn't want to be martyred the new love that they were dreaming about didn't happen there's a disharmony, a misalignment of values, and they're disappointed. They had limited success or rewards with whatever it was they had going on. And there's a promise here. They're challenged by this promise, whatever this promise is. 
And in the subconscious, you've got three of swords reversed. So there's a moving on. There could be negative self-talk. Whoa. Mm, this snake didn't get congrat congratulated. They didn't get congratulated. They're moving on. They're having negative self-talk. There's a transition here. They could have transitioned or um, went somewhere. Like maybe they changed locations or something. <clears throat> or something else. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to have some cinnamon tea. It's so good. All right, then. So you've got the sun here in the recent past, and you've got the wholesome person here. Wholesome. <clears throat> A rebirth. <clears throat> Whoa. We got evermore. It came out, but then it flipped into the reverse. There is a celebration here with the sun, pleasure and happiness. The evermore it came out and flipped into the reverse. And it's like, um, so somebody, somebody's intention and expectation was to compete for the evermore of this sun, but it came out in the reverse, so maybe they didn't get it. Their intention is to challenge it, to compete for it. Or maybe they didn't get it because you stood up for yourself. Ah, so there you are, this sunny individual, all happy in the sun, joyful and warm in your mannerisms and stuff, full of vitality. Somebody came after you evermore. They wanted to knock that out of the water, man. Yeah, and their intention was definite to compete or to bring challenges to somebody who is peaceful, somebody who is at peace. In the near future, we've got strength in the reverse, so it could be that it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out for this witch in love. They didn't get the evermore. They didn't get the evermore of this peaceful person, this person that they were trying to martyr to get their evermore. They weren't able to martyr the person. And they weren't able to get their love. They were they were not strong enough. They're they're in their they're in they're all up in their emotions. They might be throwing some tantrums and stuff, getting all mad. They're at a crossroads with the two of swords here. <clears throat> wow. That, with the Empress reversed, this could have been somebody who was trying to mimic this sun energy, this peace energy. They were a coffee cup. They were a copycat wise guy here and now. But um, so what we got here is this wise guy is in a two of swords. So there's a stalemate. They're in a crossroads and that's here and now. So this wise guy here and now is in a two of swords energy. You've got this empress reversed here. So they're feeling overwhelmed. They didn't get the they didn't get the partnership. This witch didn't get the partnership. They were not strong enough. They weren't strong enough. And maybe you did things to perfection. Well, you if you're being authentic and transparent, it's pretty hard not to be perfectly you know yourself if that's what you're committed to being and nobody can do it better than the originator right so and sometimes 
sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're sad and sometimes you're mad and sometimes like you're just getting all chameleon all over everybody. But this person is feeling overwhelmed because you're seen as perfect. They weren't able to, they weren't able to um, mimic you. They're not getting congratulated. Their hope is still to bring conflict and challenge here. Mm, they don't have the knowledge. Or they want to bring conflict and challenge to somebody who doesn't have knowledge. These, whoever this is, they're abusive in relationships. There's a three of wands here. So there's a moving forward and moving on. Making preparations. Whoa, come here, you. Making preparations. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. To the show. Does the show go on? Yes or no. Somebody's moving forward. They're expanding. There might be a visitation of sorts. Some sort of a visitation. Oh, by a chicken. A chicken might be wanting to pay a, pay a visit. Somebody may be entering your life that you have not seen in a while or maybe that you cut out and they're wanting to come forward with the purpose of putting this arcana in the grave. So there is some very um, emotionally distraught at least one emotionally distraught person out there who's upset that you've got a promise here. You've, you've been given a promise. They're not getting congratulated. They have to move on, maybe transition. Or maybe it's this which is love factor which is weak. And they have low energy and a lot of pride. They weren't able to martyr whoever who this peaceful person. They weren't able to martyr this peaceful person. courtship they weren't able to martyr that peaceful person and there's a courtship here right here in the central energy whether it be in the spirit or in the 3d i i i tend to think there's a lot of things happening in the ethers right now that perhaps the waking 3d mind isn't fully aware of for us you know to some uh, to some of us for obvious reasons so this person who is in a Ten of Swords reversed, man, they're resisting an inevitable end. They weren't able to martyr um, this couple. They weren't able to martyr this couple. This thief. The thief wasn't able to martyr that couple and there's a promise here. There's there's a promise. They didn't get what they were expecting. The promise has been made. They they did not get a love relationship. They're disappointed because the promise has been made. The courtship is here. It's happening. And they didn't get what they were expecting. They didn't get the courtship, but it's happening. There is a new love. Check it out. So there is a new love, a page of cups, a curious new love, a surprise, and a promise. 
and somebody's um, disappointed because they didn't they didn't get the love relationship. There is a love relationship here, but they wanted to martyr them and they weren't able to pull it off. They weren't able, they didn't get what they were expecting. It's like they were trying to martyr this couple and then replace them with um, somebody who was what? Wearing their essence, wearing their energy. This snake did not get congratulated. It failed. It failed. It failed and they may have transitioned. They were trying to flip the um, the evermore of this sunny, peaceful person. They were in conflict about it. They were trying to um, they were trying to steal a high honor position by taking out the sun by eliminating the sun, basically, of a peaceful person by putting out the light of a peaceful person. They thought they would be able to absorb the essence and then replace them in this ever more um, relationship and then flip it, right? This These divine kingdom unions, that was the intent of this Empress Reversed. They got this, they got this person in their mind. Look at them. They might be trying to ping, this snake might be trying to ping this person in their mind. This high honor person. He might be trying to ping them in their mind, play with their head. <clears throat> Occupation. That's their job. Their job is to flip peaceful um, unions evermore, love unions. This witch, their job is to flip loving evermore unions that's their job that's their purpose in life is to make sure nobody falls in love too long they bring competition and fighting to peaceful people this mature woman brought um fighting to peaceful people challenges to love relationships that's all this witch her job was to just destroy um this union but she wasn't strong enough to destroy this particular union she wasn't strong enough to destroy this particular union with this main male nope she could not destroy the love of this main male. Oh. Judication. Somebody's at a crossroads. They're under judication. This wise guy here and now under judication. Empress is having anxiety. They're unfaithful. Indecisive, codependent, selfish. <clears throat> mm. Marriage. This marriage is perfect. This marriage is perfect. This, this Empress reversed is feeling overwhelmed by it. So she's here having anxiety in the environment. She's having a whole bunch of anxiety because this marriage is happening in the environment also. And it's perfect. She wants to bring conflict. Her, her, um, her intention, her hope and her, her hope is to bring um, conflict to the wedding. She doesn't have any knowledge or she doesn't have a lot of knowledge. Perhaps she doesn't know what she's doing. Perhaps they're just doing it because the only thing they know is, is to fight. 
That's what they know. This wealthy man only knows how to, how to bring conflict to gain a fortune. That's how he gains his fortune is by fighting innocent, peaceful people, unsuspecting people, sunny people. That's how this wealthy man gains his fortune. And um, that's coming to an end. Or he's going to go into a coffin. It could be that he's going to have all of his knowledge stripped for him, stripped from him because he's abusive. So that may happen. You've got the three of wands here. So there's a moving forward. There's a moving, a moving forward to who? To the puppet master? A moving forward, yes. Distant horizons. Huh. Thief. This thief is going somewhere on the distant horizons. This thief who is a... This whole community of thieves who are puppet masters, who, who operate the, the lives and the minds of people or who interfere with the lives and the minds of people and with their, com with their community in order to gain wealth. They destroy peaceful, sunny people. There's, there's some sort of a distant horizons here. Something, the sky ship is here. Huh. We got family room. There could be a meeting going on. There could be some important family affair happening regarding these lovers and the sudden wealth, which has somebody concerned. Or maybe there is a concern that's being discussed. Somebody is in despair. This false person is in despair and facing imprisonment. They're in despair, <clears throat> facing imprisonment. They're in despair because this privileged lady is entering this house and the child is going to be born. Or this is a new beginning. Or maybe this privileged lady is innocent. And she's moving into the house. Like whatever they were trying to do or say or drum up. or Whatever efforts they were making to make a change. Um, doesn't appear to have worked. Hmm. Which deck do I want to use? I'm going to have to pull out some other decks. Well, for now, we'll just use this one. And then I'll pull out some other decks later. snake was not able to martyr this couple they weren't able to destroy this couple they're not honest they're resisting an inevitable inevitable end an inevitable end they didn't get what they were expecting there's a promise made here with a new love with this courtship this person didn't get a love relationship. Um, they made bad choices. And whatever they did had limited um, 
success and reward. So they kind of wasted their time. Imagination. Somebody stuck in their head. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Somebody's using their creator aspects or somebody didn't get what they were expecting and they're challenged by this imagination. They're challenged by their imagination. They could be like, I don't know, something spinning this. They could just like be spinning this around and around and around in their head. This disappointment, the fact that they, 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 didn't, they didn't get anything by coming up by um by coming up against this high honor these high honor people these high honor people ah oh, he's thinking about her or it could be this snake is thinking about her either way somebody's thinking about this person and um, there is a recovery. So there's, it could be this courtship. He's got her in his head, in his mind. They're high honor. There's a recovery. There's a releasing the pain. They didn't get martyred. And the snake didn't get congratulated because they failed at their endeavor. They were not, they were not successful. They weren't able to bring a death to this courtship. And they're recovering. They're high honor. He's thinking about her. They, they, this snake is not getting congratulated. They weren't able to end this, this couple. Or this courtship. Huh. We got the sun here all happy. Riding their horse all Having fun in the sun. Warmth. Somebody was working to flip their evermore. And they're in grief. Somebody, this mature woman was working to flip this evermore. Like she was supposed to be able to mimic this peaceful person. Like take her place as an empress reversed. And like totally flip this evermore in the, in the kingdom. That was her purpose, was to bring challenge and competition to the kingdom through using love. There's fear here. You, you stood up for yourself. This person is in grief because you stood up for yourself. During this challenge, you're, you were at peace, but you're the sun and you just persevered. You're like, yeah, this sucks, but you stood your own. You persevered. And this mature woman, she's in grief. She didn't get the evermore, and she's in fear. Because you persevered. And you're you're coming in. You 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 got this love here with this main male. And this witch wasn't strong enough. This witch wasn't strong enough to be you. Or to pretend to be you or to take you guys out or do whatever it was they were not strong enough to do. Whoa. What do we got here? Empathy. So this main male has empathy and love. Oh, 
that's a beautiful union. He's open to seeing her side of things. He's not just going to say, this is the way it is and raw, raw, raw. This witch is in their pride. They have low energy. Oh, pride. That's out here twice. Look at that. It's right there too, pride. Struggling with their pride. This, this, this witch is struggling with their pride. Their pride is hurt. They weren't strong enough to take out these two people. This snake. Wow. They're under adjudication. They're at a crossroads, this wise guy, here and now. Difficult decisions are being made that you can trust. Both sides of this situation are being looked at very carefully. This empress in the reverse is full of anxiety because this marriage came together perfectly, or it will. This is a perfect marriage, and it's going to come together perfectly. It's right here in the environment. Everybody can see it, or everybody will see it. Empress reversed is codependent, and, and she's not having a good time. Look, you're choosing to see the lighter side of life. This Empress Reverse, she's got a lack of focus because this marriage is happening and everybody's happy about it. Everybody's freaking happy and it's perfect and she's just messed up. She's all selfish and jealous and stuff. She's hoping that this masculine will be um, will will be unfaithful. She's hoping that she can get in there and somehow um, get a connection with through infidelity. So she's here tempting him as an empress reversed. He may laugh at her. You got a wealthy man here who gets his great fortunes by stealing things and he's going to lose his knowledge and there's a coffin here. So he's going to, yeah, so it could be that all of his knowledge, whatever he knew um, to gain this great fortune is going to be stripped from him. He's going to lose all of his know-how. Winning at all costs. He's going to he's gonna forget to, to learn. He's going to forget to know how to win. He's going to forget to know what the competition is. He won't be able to learn how to play the game anymore. He's a bully. And a thief. And he trained a whole community to be that. Somebody's moving forward on the distant horizons. And that's this community and this thief of puppet masters, of manipulators of consciousness and lives. Courage. So there's courage here. Whoever's dealing with this wealthy man and whatever it is he knows, I mean, this, there's some courage here. He, whatever he's doing is met with courage. He's abusive. He's sneaky. He's a bully. And he's been using all of his knowledge to come against and bring harm against somebody with the intention of stealing their spiritual inheritance. A peaceful, sunny individual. They wanted to put them where the snake lives and, and um, unalive them and steal their positions and their authority and their wealth, their high honor. But they faced him with courage. They, they were courageous. And they had the inner strength, the inner resilience to um, move through this. So this thief is not going to be able to change anything. And they're being denied. They were, they're, they're being denied. This whole community of thieves is being denied. So the answer is a big fat no. And this is happening on the distant horizons. There, there's a ship here. They could be um, meant to travel somewhere. They might be sent somewhere because they're guilty. They've been found guilty and, and while the, under adjudication at the crossroads, they've been found guilty. And they have to surrender. And they're worried.
this is just a continuation of this of you know the um the collective story this is the big one you know that it seems like several readers are picking up on is these two people are meant to come together and they're meant to have a child and it's wild how this whole dramatic scene was created over time purposefully you know premeditated like really premeditated masks they were not honest they were wearing masks pretending to be these people doing horrible things trying to get them martyred trying to martyr them that is bearing false witness they actually did the deed and then said this other person did it because they were wearing a mask Yeah, they wanted, they wanted the marriage. They wanted to get this marriage. They were wearing the mask, hoping that they, this Empress reversed and whoever this snake is, they were hoping that they could get together and go into the kingdom as this divine couple and bring war. That was their plan. And they wanted to start a new family tree within the heavenly kingdom of their own kind. Now they want to compromise. It was all in their imagination. They're spinning this around and around and around in their head. It didn't go as they were expecting. They're full of disappointment. They made some bad choices. They made some bad choices and the promise has been made. This love is going to happen. This love is happening. It's happened. Their strategy failed. This snake's strategy failed and they are not getting congratulated. Whoever it is that's in this courtship, in this marriage, he's, he's thinking of her, his peaceful, sunny person. He's got her in his thoughts. He sees her as high honor. He's high honor. And they're going to heal from the heartbreak that they have, um, that they have undergone. They've probably had lifetimes of horrible heartbreak, but still they were resilient and they were not able to martyr them. They were not able to martyr them. The martyr card came out in the reverse and so did the death card. They couldn't do it. There's a rebirth. All is well. All is well. All is well. Yeah, they, they're in grief. They were trying to flip the evermore. That that was their job. That was their occupation. And they're frightened now. And they're, they're grieving because it didn't work. They're not okay. They're not doing okay. Ooh. They don't want justice to be served. They don't want everybody to know their fate. Or maybe they don't want their fate. They don't they, they don't want the fate that they that the justice system has dealt them. They're denying it. They're like, no, no. They're not okay. They're not okay. They're frightened. They're in grief. They didn't get the evermore. They've been found out. It's like what they what they were intending to do has been found out. It's like, wow, this mature woman is in fear for bringing competition and challenge to this peaceful person who was able to persevere and stand and stand up for themselves. This mature woman is bound to her commitments. Whatever agreements she made, she's bound to them. The witch is in pride. She's in she's in her pride. She's insecure. She's feeling weak. She has low energy. 
her emotion is raw because this main male is entering a love union and looking at both sides of this situation very, very carefully. Yeah, they're in their pride. They want to pro they're protesting. Raw emotion protesting. They didn't get the family. They didn't get the adventure. They're all mad. They didn't, they weren't able to take these two people out and get the adventure and get the family. Wow. They were trying to rob them of their destiny. And now they're in a nightmare because they ran out of time. These two were able to persevere. They're under adjudication at the crossroads. This wise guy here and now. And it's adjudication. It's a, it's, a, it's a sentence that you can trust. Or a judge you can trust. Stubborn. This wise guy is being stubborn. They don't want to hear it. This empress is having anxiety because this marriage is coming together perfectly and everybody's looking at the lighter side of stuff. It's like everybody's happy. Everybody's in their heart space with this green here. It's like everybody's in their heart space. Everything's perfect. Everything's wonderful. You earned your merit. Everything's wonderful. You're moral. You're good. And you've got this selfish, codependent anxiety ridden unfaithful empress reversed trying to block this her dream isn't coming true She can't do anything about it. These two face this ordeal with courage. With confidence, strength and confidence. This wealthy man gains a great fortune by bringing competition to peaceful, happy, sunny people who are just minding their own business. And he's abusive in his relationships and he steals what belongs to them. He's a bully. He uses all of his knowledge to do that, but he's going to lose his knowledge. His, his days of knowing how to do these kinds of things is in the toilet, in the ground, soaked up by Mother Earth. He doesn't get to know how to do this anymore. Memory, his memory, he's going to lose his memory. His memory is going into the coffin. His memory about all his academics, all his knowledge, everything that he knows to, uh, to gain wealth, all his cruel ambitions and all of that, he's going to lose his memory. Wow. Huh. A community of thieves. I wonder if those get the same fate. I don't know, but they're going somewhere on the distant horizons. They weren't able to affect a change and they're being denied. They're moving forward overseas somewhere. There's preparations being made. Collaboration. There's a collaboration. Good news. Triumph. You triumphed over being dominated. How about that? Come on now. Get back here. You triumphed over being dominated. You were able to beat the system. The, the messing with the field of consciousness. The mind. Wow. Doing all of this stuff. Where was that? There was, there was it out here somewhere. But yeah, man, 
you triumphed over over these this domination attempt and they're stressed out and they're stressed out because you triumphed Okay, and so with that, I'm going to go ahead and call this one, and I'm going to go reach for some other decks, and we'll um, do another read here in just a little bit, and I'll see you then, everybody. Bye.